Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make a countdown timer uh, for your webinars or for your um, live events. So you can give your audience a little bit of time to get ready and also to uh, help yourself finalize the, uh, the final uh, bits and pieces. Uh, so this is what we will be uh, doing. And um, by the end of this video, we will have a video similar to the uh, beginning of uh, this tutorial as you saw it. Uh, so that's what we will achieve at the end of this. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Steve from stevingency.com and I'll ask you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm on Canva's homepage, canva.com. So as I said, we'll be using Canva uh, to do this. And Canva is a free tool, it's a free graphic design tool that uh, allows you to design uh, so many things as you can see all these templates here. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create uh, that design. Uh, so we we're going to go into create design here, or you can type here, uh, type video or create a design. Uh, I'll go to design and uh, you see uh, Canva gives us the measurements as well. So the video that is uh, uh, suitable for most video player is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels. So this is the one that we are going to use. I'll click onto that. And that opens the uh, Canva editor, which is the canvas there, the white canvas there, and that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna work onto this. And um, um, on the left toolbar here, uh, we're gonna look for a video uh, icon. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get it. Uh, yeah, it's up there, this video there. So we're going to video, and on that video, we're going to type on the search bar, uh, countdown, and see what comes up, count. Um, because we want the timer so we will click on to that so it'll bring all these timers that uh, uh you know uh, there are different types of uh, timers that will come out but uh for you you will just choose whatever that is suitable for you and the important thing that you need to uh, look at is the time that uh um that is uh, against uh, every um timer that is available there and you can come up here also and click the free or the pro um, so I'm using the Pro, so I've, all the timers are free for me. So, uh, but you can, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can go to free, and then the, all the timers that will come will be uh, the um, will be the uh, the free uh, uh, template. Uh, so if you want to use uh, Canva for free, uh, you can uh, sign up on the link that I'll provide at the bottom and just trial Canva for 30 days and see if you like it or not, and then uh, take it from there. So we will do that. So I will choose one. Um, uh, we'll choose, uh, I'll choose this one. Yeah, uh, let me choose this one, I think this one. And this one is, uh, is 10 seconds. I think that's uh, perfect for me. We can use 15 or 30 seconds, no matter how much time you need uh, to give your audience, even if it's uh, one minute or something like that. So I will use um, uh, this one, as you can see there, let's check it. Um, yeah, so it's it's 10 seconds, so I'm happy with that. Uh, but um, I just don't want it to be like plain uh, as like that. So I'm gonna try and put a color on the background uh, uh, canvas there. So I'll see what color I will put. But I'll just resize this a little bit. So um, um, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, I think this in the middle. Uh, I'll bring it up there a little bit so that I can add. Um, that's it. So now I'll add the color. To add the color, I can come up here um, to the square box here, and then all the color palettes will come out there. So you can add different colors for your background, depending on your uh, the color that you want or your brand color. So you can uh, use that. Also, uh, also, you can I like to use the 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 um, the um, I like to go to background and use the. Um, the different gradients uh, colors that I, I like. So I'll go. You go to background, and then it. it I'll just come back here. So I'll go to background, and then uh, here you can select which one, whether you want the pattern colors or the gradients. I like the gradient color because they kind of look a little bit nicer. Uh, so then you click on one of them, then it goes onto um, uh, the, uh, your canvas. You can use that, or I'll take that one. And then up here, as you can see, you can flip the colors so that the more concentrated color goes the other way. So let's see uh, if we flip it up. You see that uh, concentrated blue color or the dark color has come up there. So we'll use that one. There, so I'm happy with that, and um, I might uh, uh, resize this again just a little bit so I can give myself space at the bottom. So let's see. So this purple color, it tells you where the central or the, the middle part of the canvas is, so I'll leave it there. I can even resize it again, and then, and then yeah, that's it there. So we're in the middle there. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do 
is to uh, so that it doesn't become so plain when people are watching, waiting for you to start. I'll add some little animations here and there, or maybe just at the top there. So that's what I'll do. So I'm, to add the animations, I'm going to go to on the left toolbar again. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, elements. So elements up there, and then on the elements bar, uh, search bar, you can type uh, whatever you want. I'll just type a blob because I've seen a few blobs that are. Uh, interesting there and then on there I want the ones that are animated so I'll choose animation there and apply and then as you can see they're all animated there so there's one that I want that is like it's a drippy yeah, that one there um, so they also they we've got the free ones as well as I was saying we've got the free and the paid ones they will show you which ones are paid uh, but I just want the free one um, and there it is so this one is uh, I'll just resize it um, so that it kind of drips onto my uh, my timer, and then let's see how that. Um, yeah, so it's in the middle there. Let's see. So we can uh, play and see how that is. It's just like it's dripping onto the clock. I like that uh, <laughs> um, that combination of the uh, the blob and the the timer. So let's do it again and see. That's it. So it looks good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, but because um, what I want to do is this uh, timer, it's got the background, as you can see. So I don't want that background, but I can't remove that background because it comes with the timer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back again onto the elements, and then I'll click on the search bar and type cycle. Um, I want the um, placeholder, um, photo placeholder with the cycle that allow me to put this timer inside. So this is the placeholder where you can put um, the photo, and then it will it will take uh, the shape of this uh, uh, this placeholder. So what I will do now, I'll drag this uh, timer into that. Uh, as you can see, it's inside the um, it's inside that uh, cycle now, but uh, it doesn't look nice because it's uh, it's it's not uh, it's not in the middle. So what do you do to look at, uh, to position it properly? You double click on it, and then you can move your timer uh, into the middle. Or you can yeah, you can do that. You can use the edges to resize it. And then you can bring it down a bit. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see. Now we no longer have that black thing around, that black color around. So we've got it inside. As you can see, that um, that looks good. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So what you can do as well, you can add, uh, while people are still watching, uh, waiting and watching uh, this timer, that you can also put your website there so they can then later visit your website. So you can press T on the, on the canvas, uh, sorry, on the keyboard, press T there, and then you can type um, your, your website there, name of your website. Um, <clears throat> Um, you can uh, you can do that, and then you can just drag it under there, or you can even put your Instagram handle if you like. Um, resize that. That's it there, um, <clears throat> and there uh, you can also um, do another like with my Instagram handle. So this is a shortcut to uh, putting a, a, a text on, on the on the canvas. You just press T on the keyboard, and then it will come up uh, there. Yeah. There you go. Then you come up here to change the color of uh, of the text. If you want the text uh, in a different color, you can do that as well. Um, Can resize. There you go. So while people are still waiting and watching, so you they can um, uh, they can go to your website or they will go to your website after your presentation is is, is done. So it's just sort of, you know a way of getting traffic to your uh, to your website. Uh, that's it. So the last thing that I want to do is to add music uh, so that while they are waiting, something can be playing, not just quiet uh, with the timer, but you can add a music. Uh, to uh, allow them to, you know, just to tune and be uh, be ready. So to do that, uh, we also go back to the left toolbar. This toolbar has got so many things that are very, very valuable. So uh, on there, there's an audio icon there. So we just go to audio, and then um, on this uh, toolbar there that comes up after clicking on the audio, there's a music uh, uh, list that comes. So um, all this music, there's one that is free. You'll find some that are free, some are paid. Obviously, if you've got Canva Pro, you get them for free. But otherwise, you pay, I think it's a, 
a uh, dollar ninety nine or something, uh, something close to that. Or what you can do, you can uh, get music from your from your computer and drag it onto this uh, um, into the um, into this uh, uh, into the folder. So that's what you can do. Um, so let's see if we can uh, uh, we'll get uh, that. I can put just any music here anyway. Uh, let's see. Um, this one is free. So you see it come once we click on it, it comes straight there. So that's it. Let's, let's check it. So that's it. So uh, once you put the music in there now, so, um, or you can select which part of the music you want. Uh, let's see there. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you put the music in, and then that's it. You trim, uh, like you select what you want uh, in the music. If it's a longer video, obviously, a longer um, clip, this one is 15 seconds, that's why it stops right there. So you can uh, increase uh, with different uh, video clips, uh, but will, all the clips will be playing one music, the same music rather. If I put so many clicks here, it will extend from 10 seconds to 20 seconds, and it will still be the same music. You just need to select which part you want. And that's how you do it, guys. Uh, after you're done, the important thing is to uh, come up here now to download. So you come and click here and make sure it's selected. Uh, you selected the MP4 video so that you uh, um, you uh, you download it as a video as it is. Uh, then you, you put it in your... Uh, uh, pre uh, webinar pre uh, live uh, video so people can uh, watch that and that's it that's how you can do it uh they'll i'll show you the ones that i did before um this is the one that i did before and uh, it's as you can see uh it's got all the music and everything so uh let's play and see That's it. So that's how it is, guys. I uh, hope you've learned something from uh, this uh, short video. If you have, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I uh, will see you again, guys, in the next video. You take care. Bye.